Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. I'm Ani from SmartHerd. In the previous videos we had learned about solving the compatibility issues of our application using the XML files. In this very video we will be learning about maintaining the compatibility of our application in all the devices using the Java code. I'll be showing you a small snippet that has to be implemented in our main activity.java to solve this issue. The very first step is to check if we are running on devices having API level 21 or above, that is, if we are running on Android 5.0 or higher. Or, in other words, we can say we need to check if our device is of Lollipop version or higher. If the build.version.sdk int is greater than or equal to the build.version codes of Lollipop, that is, if our application SDK's version is greater than or equal to the device version of Lollipop, that is, if build.version.sdk int is greater than or equal to build.version codes dot Lollipop, we need to call some material design APIs here. If the device is above or equal to the Lollipop device, the material design features has to be called because the material design feature is only applicable for lollipop devices or the devices having version above lollipop. If the API level is below 21, implement these features without material design. That is, the theme and various other features in our application has to be implemented without the material design feature. Now guys, let's jump to Android Studio and see how these codes are implemented. This is our main activity.java where we need to implement our Java codes to maintain the compatibility of our application with all the Android devices. I have pasted the same code snippet that I had shown you in the slide. First, the condition is checked if build.version.sdk int is greater than or equal to build.version code dot lollipop. That is, it will check if the minimum SDK version is greater than or equal to the Lollipop device. If the condition is true, the material design APIs are called. And if the build.version.sdk int is less than the Lollipop version, then the features without the material design is implemented. Now guys, it may seem a bit complicated that how these codes are actually used. You need not worry about it. In the upcoming videos, we will be talking about it in detail in which we will be implementing more of the material design which will require the Java code compatibility. Apart from this Java code, we have made our application compatible using the XML file. We have created styles.xml for the API level greater than 21 devices as well as for the devices having API level below 21. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, do share and leave your comment below the video. Subscribe to our channel and help us grow. I also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description. You can go there and refer to it. That's all for this video. For further videos, stay tuned, keep smiling and have a good day.